Hello again, thanks for joining me. Uh, and this is my uh, Take a Hike vlog number 13 for October. And I'm uh, just out for a local walk today with the camera, just seeing if I can get a little bit of uh, video of the autumn colours. Because, yeah, it's that time of year again. And, uh, yeah, the days are getting shorter. Night's drawing in. Dark by five o'clock. And, uh, yeah, it's one of those times of year that um, a lot of people find very difficult to a greater or lesser degree. Yeah, by the end of October, a lot of the uh, campsites are closing until spring and uh, those longer hikes you've kind of got put on hold anywhere you think you might get caught without light or whatever you probably need to leave until springtime now so yeah not the best time for a lot of people so uh what are the positives? There must be some. I suppose firstly, by no means all the campsites close. Uh, so have a look around, there's still some very good ones open. If you're the type of person who uses campsites. Uh, so we've got a, uh, uh, a little trip up to Coombs booked uh, for early in. November so we're looking forward to that and we've dug out a few more that stay open as well so you can still get some good trips in and um, another thing it does actually open out some great opportunities for both wild camping and off-grid camping in the camper van especially down here I mean other areas of the British Isles uh, people are lucky enough to be able to wild camp and set up uh, their tents whenever uh, they're ready but down here in the middle of summer if the weather's not so good you can be waiting till nine o'clock at night to set your tent up um, stealthily now when it's getting dark at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, you know it, it does open up a, um, a lot of opportunities for you especially before the weather gets too cold and um, for off-grid camping in the camper van a lot of places where you wouldn't really consider it um, in the height of summer because it's too crowded and it you know especially recently it's been drawing a, a lot of attention uh, but now everything's quietened down there's fewer passers-by so you know that's a possibility and also um, pub stopovers uh, become a lot easier because pub car parks are a lot quieter and um, they can be, you know become a more viable option to stay in so uh, yeah there's a, yeah, there's a couple of uh, real positives and uh, not to mention all the uh, the autumn colours that we've got for a while and of course looking forward to when it does get properly cold not just uh, kind of damp and grey like it is uh, at the moment here in the UK there's some uh, yeah fantastic walks when it's nice and uh, cold and crisp and lastly when you run out of other things to do there's always planning and uh, pouring through maps and books to uh, come up with some adventures for the coming year when springtime arrives so uh, yeah there's always something to keep you busy so uh, let us know in the comments below, is it a time of year that you hate or uh, is it a time of year that you look forward to and if you do dislike it, you know, what do you do to put a positive spin on things, so uh, let us know below. So that's about it for this one, hope you've enjoyed this month's uh, videos, um, the only fixed plans I've got for uh, November really of that um, little camping trip to Coombs. I've got a couple of walks that will probably come out of that. 
Uh, but other than that, we'll just have to see what develops. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us how uh, the autumn time or the fall affects you. Cheers now. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.